Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing something totally different today. Well, same but different. We're talking about gear, but I don't even know what we're talking about. I know that sounds crazy, but we got two boxes in from my friends over at Club Cannon. That's clubcannon.com. We'll put the link down below. You've seen me in my pictures. In fact, Jeb, when you edit this, cut to some cool pictures of me right now with brides and grooms firing off the Club Cannon. One, two, three, go. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about there, right? So the Club Cannon's been a favorite of mine now for a couple of years. The couples love it, I love it, it's just a cool piece. And I called up my friends over at Club Cannon and I'm like, what else is cool that mobile DJs, private event DJs like myself can use? And my friend Patrick was like, I got you. Don't worry fam, it's on the way. FedEx arrived three days later, really don't have a clue what he sent me, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call him up on FaceTime and he's gonna walk us through this and we're gonna show you how easy it is to set their stuff up and get it going and make some cold CO2 smoke. How's that sound, cool? So again, thanks for being here. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's call up Patrick and see what, we're, see what we've got in these boxes. Let's go. Morning. What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Good. What's happening? I'm going straight to the source, so thanks for doing this, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you're familiar with the handheld, this should be uh, right up your alley. Yeah, I am very much so. That's my favorite. That's my only thing right now. So hopefully we're getting ready to upgrade for uh, 2022 right now with this stuff here yeah. by my feet. These are the natural progression for sure. Cool. All right. Inside there, you got yep. your 15 foot CO2 hose, power cord for the CO2 jet. Perfect. So in that white box here is the button. DMX the button. Controller. That's literally what y'all call it? Yeah. The button, okay. <laughs> One button can do it all. I love it. Oh yeah, now we're getting to the bottom, okay. So that the, is the order pack. That's got your CO2 attachment tools, yep. CO2 washers. Familiar. And, uh, a little adapter tonight. familiar with that oh what's this guy so that's the barrel that okay. attaches to the side of the micro jet okay oh and here's there's the bad boy okay oh man it's much smaller than i thought yeah it's tiny it's why we call it the micro jet awesome this is killer yeah it looks bigger on the website yeah okay now we're getting somewhere so i guess we just need to put the barrel on the micro yep so yeah. if you take that little barrel assembly, yep, you can pop that little tag off, yep. pull that thread protector off. Yep. Okay. So you'll just thread that guy on there snug, and then if you have a small little crescent wrench just to fasten it like a quarter turn past hand tight, that's ideal. Right, okay. And then kind of put the barrel itself like 45 degree angle. Like yeah, I mean, you can set it whatever firing position you want. But right. Like 45 is pretty common. Yeah. Next. Um, power cord for that guy. Yep. Power, okay. Got the, got the power con connect. So it should say 001 on the screen back there. It does. That's your DMX address. Okay. And it's blinking to tell you that it doesn't currently have a DMX signal. Okay. So as soon as we plug in that button, um, that will be able to control it there. Okay. Unpack that little button. There's going to be another power cord inside that box and a little set of keys. Yep. So if you want to unpack that guy and get it plugged in. Okay. Woo, this is cool. <laughs> All right. Same thing, got the power con. All right, I'm hooked up. All right, so if you take those little keys, yep. put the button there, you can turn the key into the firing position. To the right. 
Yep. Oh, shit. And now you see it starts pulsing. That's indicating that it's in an armed state. So if you press that button, it's going to trigger that unit. Nice. So you can press it. Oh, okay. We don't have gas depth, so. Okay. You hear the click? Yeah. So uh, I'll run you through the button real quick. Sure. If you turn the key back off. Okay. You can press down on that little encoder on the top corner. This? Yep. Okay. So now you're in the, the system menu there. You can scroll through all the different options. We can kind of walk through each one. Fill. You can adjust the time. So every time you hook up a fresh tank, yeah. you'll want to reset your timer. So when you're using it throughout the night, it tells you how much CO2 is left in oh, this tank. Oh, okay. So for a 20-pound tank, you'll want to set that timer to 24 seconds. Okay. So you can click the encoder again. Yeah. It'll take you to the next digit, drop it to two, and then digit, and then the next digit to zero, yep. and then hit enter. Okay. Now you're back in the menu, so don't scroll to the next option. Cut mode is pretty handy. If you say you're doing a wedding and yeah. you hooked up a, a 20 pound tank to this unit, sure. if you enable cut mode, once the timer reaches zero, it won't let the user continue triggering it like you know when your handheld runs out yeah people keep shooting it and it's just clear gas yeah if you have cut mode enabled once the timer reaches zero it won't trigger it's done it. i got you okay next item is led so click into here and then click again for oh. color oh wow. scroll oh yeah that. awesome oh the rainbow yeah that's cool the, there's a, there's like 30 different presets in there for all sorts of different looks this is so cool man you guys you guys killed it with this man you thought of everything i like this one yeah all right so there you go um next item fade, is fade. so that is uh the speed that the the animation plays if okay. you want to change that gotcha ring if you have that enabled, the LED circle will act as like a countdown timer, like a gas tank. So oh. as your timer is depleting, less and less LEDs will light up. Interesting. Okay. So turn that on, uh -huh. and then glow is brightness. Okay. So if, you, if oh, you're right. in a dark venue and you want right. to lower the brightness or something, you can do that there. Very cool. So go back. Yep. The color. Okay. Click in and set, let's set it back to one just okay. so I can show you what the ring function does. Now, if you want to just jump back to being armed, you can turn the key and it'll boot you out of this menu. Oh, okay. I see. So just turn the key right now. Let's, I'll show you what ring does. Now, if you press the button, you can press and hold it for like 10 seconds. Oh. You'll see it's acting like a meter related to your timer you see how the leds like aren't lighting up on that side yeah 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 that's cool so some people like it some people don't have a use for it but it's really up to yeah, you yeah i see that that's crazy cool and 60 seconds for a 50 pound tank okay so 20 pound 24 50 pound 60 okay there's so a, there's an insert card in that box that gives you those oh numbers. fantastic okay right here on the button yeah. okay fantastic all right, cool. So let's hook up some gas. My excitement level now is about a 9.3, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like my studio is like a 20 by 10. Like it's, it's getting ready to get epic in here. Yeah, we'll fill that thing up real quick. <laughs> All right. So I'm connected. I'm tightened here on the tank. Easy, yeah. Quick connect. So basically, you turn the key right, it start, the button starts flashing. It's time. It's go time. Yep. So whenever it's pulsing like that, that's just letting you know that it's armed. And as soon as you turn the key off, it'll stop pulsing. Yes, sir. Give it a little gas. You ready, Jeb? 
<laughs> Why are you stepping away like it's it's not fire? <laughs> he, he started running. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> the sound alone is like epic. <laughs> Countdown's going down. Dude, this is, this is so much better than the cannon because yeah. of the countdown. Like we still got 22 yeah. seconds, Jeb. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I swear to God, is, is it not 25 degrees cooler in oh, here? Yeah. I'm back here sweating, like putting this stuff together. And now I'm like, Holy oh, dude, this is so freaking cool. All right, hold on. So let me ask you a couple more questions before I let you go. What else is needed to chain two together? So you have a couple options. Like typically customers will run a, a single tank to each unit. You're doing a big wedding. Sure. And you put one on each side of your DJ booth. Sure. You'll have to put your tanks, you know, right next to it. The, the timer value is going to stay the same because each jet has a 50 pound or a 20 pound tank on it okay right right the other option would be getting you know you could get one 50 pound tank one of our co2 tank splitters and then branch it off oh, and eat, eat sure. it. so it really just depends on what you want to do do you need to hook them together through this as well yeah so it's going to work similar to your up lights uh that you just daisy chain the dmx from the first unit to the second unit right. and you can hook up as many as you want right so you'll just want to make sure that they're on the same DMX address and okay. your button is configured to send out that DMX address. 001 normally. Yep. So one is the most common. If you're only triggering those with the button, just set them to one. Right. Um, if you have, you know, a more advanced setup, like say you were using our four button controller and you wanted to have your spark machines on one button and your CO2 jets on another button and your confetti on another button, you would set them to different DMX addresses, right? Sure. So, but for what, for this application, channel one is perfectly fine for you. Dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Like y'all. <laughs> so, so just off the top of your head, just while I got you on last question, you know, cause everybody's going to ask like, what, what's a setup like this cost? Not, not, you know, obviously y'all don't do the tanks, but I've got the button here and one micro jet. And I got a 15 foot um, cable and so the micro jet comes with a 15 foot hose. Okay. You can get a longer hose if you need it. Yeah. Uh, that kit is $7.99. Okay. And the button there yep. comes with uh, the power cord and the keys and the button itself. And that's $349. $7.99, $349. So about, about $1,200 probably with tax and everything. Yeah, I mean, most customers buy the jets in pairs. So okay. more often than not, people are buying them in quantities of two, four, six, eight. Sure. Um, so a nice little setup for like a mobile DJ business would yeah. be... Uh, yeah, it's like 1950 uh -huh. would be two jets, hoses, controller, pretty much everything you need. And it sounds um, intimidating at first, but the payoff period on this stuff is quick. Yeah. Like selling that package to a bride and groom is yep. going to be 500 bucks, you know? Yep. Oh, easily. All day. Yeah. I think especially once you get a good video and a couple of great photos to put with your marketing. It sells itself. And even for you as the dj you're gonna once you do a show with cryo you're gonna want it every show <laughs> yeah yeah exactly i see a lot of people doing it for grand entrances They'll yeah have two of them by the door and when they walk in they have their big moment another thing is you know during the reception when you guys are rocking out and it's hot and sweaty in there you put those by the sides of your dj booth and you cool that whole room down yeah i mean dude we felt it in here i mean this is a small room and i only i mean i'm still at 21 seconds i barely even blew blew any any smoke already yeah so that's another thing people will say oh well it's gonna use that much co2 like that's not that much time but in reality when you're doing quick you know yeah seconds, blast you know, right you're gonna get a decent amount of those before the tank is empty. I, I need to go to the big boy tanks to be honest and, and i and i'll order another i know you guys um showing here on the video uh i don't have it on but i in the one in my van i've got the sock that, that covers up the tank. These tanks are usually filthy and ugly, and right. um, just so everybody knows, Club Cannon does make kind of a, a sock, yeah, if we you will. The tank covers, the neoprene tank covers. Yeah. We have them in 20 pound and 50 pound sizes. Yep, and those are super cool, and they cover up that nasty looking tank. Well, man, Pat, 
I'll let you go, dude. I know you're getting ready to get your day started out west on the West Coast, and I appreciate you answering my call so early today, man. This has been uh, phenomenal, man. I'm getting ready to, <laughs> I'm getting ready to really get wild with this thing when when we finish the video. But man, I appreciate you. I'll, I'll be back in touch uh, about w what else I need from you. Yeah, let me know if I can help with anything. Thanks, brother. All right, Joe. We'll talk to you. See you, man. Later. Later. Guys, holy crap, what the heck? That was so freaking cool. We get to speak to the manager at Club Cannon. He shows us how to hook it up, basically live on the video. Took just a few minutes. I'm really blown away. Like, I love the gun, the Cannon, you know, and, and again, you saw the pictures earlier in the video, but this, I mean, I gotta order another one now. He, he just sent me this for demo. Now I gotta pay him for this and order another one. You heard it was around two grand for the whole package. To me, totally worth it. I'm gonna put these on each side of the Bun Gear Command Center. Fire them off. I might even put the button up there and let people come up and, and hit the button. Maybe I can even integrate it into the lid of the Command Center. Like, I have so many ideas for how this is going to be for 2022 and beyond events and weddings. Like, this is so sick. I'm, I'm so impressed with like the button itself and you saw that menu. That was so well done and well thought out. I'm just blown away by the whole thing. It is super tiny. I can pack this whole rig in probably one of those soft bags that you've seen me carry my up lights around. I mean, something like this, if I take this insert out, I can put this whole rig in there, like done. Anyway, I'm so stoked about this stuff from clubcannon.com. The link is down below. If you want to get some of your stuff from them, the button, the micro jet, the cannon, the gun. I mean, they have so much cool stuff there. You see their stuff at football games, concerts, EDM festivals, like you name it, they do it. Best in the game. I am absolutely blown away. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. You guys let me know if you think this stuff is as cool as I think. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, we drop new videos every single Thursday. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.